Hey guys, it's Janine here, and in today's video, we are going to be learning how to find the eigenvector of an eigenvalue in a 3x3 matrix. So in this problem here, we're given this matrix A, and we are asked to find the eigenvector corresponding to the eigenvalue lambda is equal to 3. So let's start off by determining what A minus lambda I is equal to. And remember, all this means is that we're subtracting the diagonal elements of this matrix by lambda. So let's do that. So the next step is we're going to plug this in to here. And V is just the eigenvector. We're solving for this. And then this is equal to the following. So just the zero vector. And so we can rewrite this in the form of an augmented matrix. So that's going to look like this. And so from here, we're going to want to use row operations to get this into row echelon form. So first, let's start off by interchanging the first row and the third row. So let's go ahead and do that. So the next thing that we're going to want to do is turn this negative 3 into a 1. So we're going to multiply row 2 by negative 1 third. And so now we have our matrix in row echelon form. So just to note, this column corresponds to x1, this column corresponds to x2, and this column corresponds to x3, and this is just corresponding to this vector here. And so let's go ahead and circle our pivots. So we have this one here and this one here. And the reason for this is because any column that does not correspond to a pivot is considered a free variable. So here, because x3 does not correspond to a pivot, x3 is considered a free variable. So we can set x3 to alpha. And then next from this row here, we have x2 is equal to zero. And from this row right here, we have x1 minus 2x3 is equal to 0. And we can rewrite this as follows. So we have x1 is equal to 2x3. So let's go ahead and let our alpha equal to 1. So we get x3 is equal to 1, and we have x2 equal to 0, and we have x1 equal to 2x3. So let's go ahead and plug in our value for x3 into here. So that gives us x1 is equal to 2x3, which is just 2 times 1, which is 2. So we have x1 is equal to 2. So we have our eigenvector, x1 is 2, x2 is equal to 0, and we have x3 equal to 1. So that is our eigenvector. And that is how you find the eigenvector corresponding to an eigenvalue of a 3 by 3 matrix. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.